following the seventh consecutive night of violence against the RUC from loyalists, the number of police families who have had to leave their homes is now put at 14, while the RUC says the number of officers intimidated over the past week has risen to 121. Today's shooting of a policeman in Derry underlined the double threat which exists for the force and prompted the RUC to display a sample of the weapons seized from both loyalists and republicans in the past month. They ranged from the sophisticated armalites taken from both sides to the primitive pike recovered from loyalists and to petrol bomb making material and masks. Speaking to journalists, the RUC chief constable, Sir John Herman, condemned the paramilitaries on both sides, called for public support for the RUC, which he described as a professional, impartial force of integrity. And he condemned reports that many men wanted to leave, but said there were a few who did, and the force would be better off without them. He rejected suggestions from loyalist politicians that the police were acting in a politically motivated manner. The RUC at this time is surrounded not only by terrorist activities, but by sectarian violence of its most extreme sort, but by a political situation, which is none of their business, none of their doing, and which, as a law enforcement agency, we have no part to play other than to maintain the rule of law in this community, so that those divergent views may be pursued through the democratic process. Our function, ladies and gentlemen, is to maintain the rule of law or to restore it where it is broken. Sir John defended the operational decisions taken over the past week, including the use of plastic bullets, though he regretted injuries. And he rejected two, suggestions the that the British the Army might be needed to back up the police on the streets. And I would disabuse any people of the view that troops have been dramatically flown into Northern Ireland. That is, at least, an untrue. The procedure would be, if I, as Chief Constable, consider we need support, and I do not at this moment, we'll discuss it with the General Officer Commanding, and we will together, in accordance with policy, go to the Secretary of State, who no doubt will consult the Secretary of State for Defence. But that is not something which is in my mind at this time.